What's up guys, Greenman here, coming back to you with day four. Now, um, this is my fourth retry, not giving up, not giving in. Uh, same old things have really been happening. Um, each time you quit, you really actually just get stronger. So I've been seeing the same results, um, improvements in confidence, eye contact, and all, and all that sort of stuff um, over the last few days um, really improved. It's quite interesting actually, because some of the things that would usually happen on my previous retries on day 10 are happening on day four. So. You know, walking down the road, feeling a sense of just social flow has come a lot quicker from this last um, no frap spree. So uh, any of you that are concerned about quitting and thinking you're going back to day one, that doesn't happen. You keep getting stronger each time. At least I do anyway. And you're all like me, right? <laughs> uh, well, anyway, jokes aside, I'm going to keep going with this one. Hopefully going to get to uh, day seven, day eight. Currently on holiday, so I don't have to deal with all the hot women walking into my workplace. Not that many, but it doesn't really help. And my goddamn colleagues, who the moment I told about, keep telling me stories about how they got off on at work, um, which is kind of weird. Uh, but apart from that, yeah, it's been going really, really strong. I've been tackling a lot of different health challenges as well and uh, really uh, overcoming them. I'll be posting that in, a, in an upcoming vlog, uh, specifically about how I'm actually reversing my own tooth decay without any sort of a dentist. Now, um, that was just from years of just abusing my teeth and then finally my teeth just said fuck this and I was like oh god I don't want to pay 500 quid to go to the dentist so I thought I'd do it naturally and I'm actually doing it pretty well I'm going to talk about that in the vlog which I'll be posting right after this one uh, I just wanted to say I'm still here I'm not giving up I'm not giving in um, I am currently uh, trying to deal with the problems with edging uh, not, not, not just not really edging. I'm not really going that far. Just, just looking at porn. It's one of the things that um, takes a while to really stop for me. I just have this overwhelming urge to look at stuff. Now, the way that I've thought about overcoming that is really doing other things. Now, I've been doing other things like I'm trying to sort out my routine. I'm going to the gym, doing that, doing that other stuff. And I found that's a real key. Whenever you feel as if you are in that mood, busy yourself with something else. Just get up, go tidy something, go play a video game, go pick up the phone talk to your friends you know uh, browse the internet research stuff but not porn not porn <laughs> actually skip the internet just 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 get away from the computer <laughs> completely and um just trying to busy yourself with all sorts of different things that will keep you distracted that's the same thing with all sorts of other cravings like smoking like drinking like all sorts of other things you just got to find something to fill your life that makes you feel you know feel as if you um are really doing something because I find that a lot of people who are struggling with nofap are people that really aren't doing things in their life that they really enjoy. So they're going to work, it's stressful, they're coming home, they don't have any sort of a hobby that they want to do that, that, that they want to pick up, they don't want to record videos, they don't want to, I don't know, fucking knit, whatever, I don't know, you know, something that, some, something that you enjoy, you know, they, they don't go to the gym, they don't do any of these other things. So what invariably happens is they just relapse into this sort of passive state whereby they're just like, man. I'll go and do and in those moments is when you're most vulnerable those moments are when you are more likely to um, get up and um, you know sin basically although in, in my opinion I, I think that there, there may be some sort of a biblical reference somewhere about how when you give away your energy don't you know don't don't do those things because you will actually suffer for it and I know that when I, when I whenever I do fap I do sort of lapse into this low energy state whereby I'm more likely to be angry and resentful and all these other things. So I wouldn't surprise me if that was the case. But that just means that you just have to busy yourself more with stuff. So so if you really want to really tackle this nofap thing, just write down things that you could do if you were ever in a situation where you were more likely to fap. Uh, it might be a bit hard if you're trying to tackle nofap when you're going to bed because you know, that, 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 that's the time when you really have to exercise some willpower. I don't know, you can handcuff your hands to the bed and try not to imagine you're part of some BDSM thing. Um, but if you can get through that, then just busy yourself with other things in the morning and just keep keep yourself busy, you know. Doesn't mean you have to work, just, you know, try and figure out and research things that you can really do right now that can really improve your life and really, doesn't really have to improve your life, just get busy with anything with your hands, <laughs> please. And uh, yeah, so that's all I got to say. Not, not really that much else to report. Just a few thoughts off the top of my head. I'm still going strong. Thank you for your support. And I'm out. Peace.